Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this theme video for February month and we had some really exciting suggestions for themes and we're going to cover uh, most of them, I believe. We had some uh, suggestions around um, the body mainly and also actually we will see how this ties perfectly together with the other theme. So around the body, it was like, how can we maintain our health or have the optimal health without going into control? And when we have all this knowledge um, and wisdom about uh, how to maintain the body or support the body, how do we make sure that we're really supporting it and not suppressing it or really that our mind is not running, running crazy wild with all those ideas about how we should control it to stay healthy? because it can get in a bit of a loop sometimes. And then the other question was around um, if, certain, if uh, certain parts of ourselves are not in alignment with each other, if one part of us wants one thing and another part wants another thing, how can we create this alignment within ourselves? So the first thing they asked me to share is that we are uh, on a higher level always in alignment. And that was also what I heard first when I heard the question, what I came to learn through this journey was we, we sometimes think that a part of us can stand in the way our body can not be aligned with our highest path or our highest well-being because we feel like it's only the body, for example, that's standing in the way for us uh, achieving something and, or going in a certain direction. But the truth is our body is perfectly capable of living our highest vision. It's it's our body's desire as well. It is perfect in, perfectly in alignment with it where we let go of the resistance in the body. So it just needs the time. And we are in alignment, all parts of our body, when we give ourselves the time to just release. And that was actually another point that came up around ancestral traumas, how we can release that. And if it's really real, or if it's really something we should focus on, and they have a lot to share about that too, because as they say, it's not going to be real in the dimension that we, we are entering now. And that is also why we feel it actually coming up, because those are like debris energy that is, that is in the dimension that we're leaving now. Now, now we're leaving it completely because there's also always a part of us present here, but it's like our focus is somewhere else in our energy system and therefore it's not going to have any effect on our experience anymore. So maybe that's also what you experience now that it has coming up more clearly and they say that what is happening right now for us here in the group and maybe also some listening later is that we are about to take some really we expansions we're really leaping into or expanding into a new reality that is so unlike what our ancestors have created for them and therefore there is this energy that we are passing through or moving through that have been uh, used to hold us within these family restrictions like this is possible and therefore we feel it come up really strongly now maybe for some of you uh, you feel it in the body or you feel it in your thoughts that there is there is there are some things that are I uh, feels like they're in a mis misalignment so between your reality and your desired dream but it's not really true everything is just also what you, so you have identified is it as ancestral lineage ideas about what's possible and what what's not but we are asked to also understand that this whole idea, concept of lineage, families, humanness, that it's all a part of a great illusion, a game we're playing. So we can choose to play the game with the ancestors and play within that energy idea that we are having a lineage, that we are having a story as human beings. And we can choose what part of that story we want to create within us. So it's true, it is energy and we can label it in whatever way feels comfortable and exciting to us. So that was also a part of the question, like Nina asked, she said, she felt the excitement about it, like digging into it. Um, and they say uh, it can be very, very useful because it's, it's the play we have created that we are lineages of family that are creating on top of each other's experience. Everything is happening now though. So we can create it all from this moment. Also, 
backwards in the experience. We can create our attachment to the past in certain ways in this moment. And we can expand this idea of what, what we are as a fam family lineage, but understanding that it's just energy. And it's like some lingering energies that we can either focus on or not. We can just pass through them if we want to not label them, if we don't find it, it exciting. But for many of us, we chose this human experience also be the, to be the bridge for others and to understand what these experiences are in, in the concepts of human reality. So for us, it might be very exciting and very useful to help others to also come through this experience to really understand what it is that's happening within us. That being said, they also said that you can stay in that experience very long if you choose to. And there you might feel yourself um, <clears throat> ending up in a loop where you just think that there keeps being some ancestral traumas, but you're just passing around in the same loop and recreating that experience of meeting those traumas. So it's not to be feared in any way because you can always choose something different, but understanding that you can just let it pass through and, and look at it and see, okay, that was something that my ancestors used to hold themselves within a certain limited experience. And that's okay. And right now I see myself creating something very different. And that's where something really exciting came in. Um, and that is, I want to share with you because it's actually, I was really thrilled because when I started to open to this, I felt that was, we were really on to something very, very big. And, and understanding that is very expanded and all understanding how we can shift this experience into what we truly want. Because as I also mentioned, and as they say, we are about to create an experience that have not been lived by any ancestors. And that's why we feel these things coming up. So what is happening in our bodies is really mirroring this or creating this experience of a misalignment between what our soul truly wants and what our human body wants or how, how our experience, human experience, uh, <laughs> you can say so, our human experience is, is limited or wanted to create something, something less or something different. So what I, I'm going to go back, what I experienced just after my awakening and actually up till now, it has really solved a big mystery there is that sometimes when I have tapped into some of my desire, I felt very vulnerable on my neck. I felt it actually as if I was being hit on my neck or something was coming at my neck. And I felt this part very vulnerable, like there was something happening in the neck area. And, uh, and I felt over this past month in relation to uh, bringing in the divine masculine that he was protecting that area. And protecting is not protecting against other. He was conserving the frequency, my uh, authentic frequency. So this often came if, if I was thinking about desires that I wanted. Then I could feel this vulnerability around my neck and like a hit, something that was coming out my neck in the beginning of my awakening. So this is actually over seven years ago. I thought like maybe it was related to past life experience of being buried in stones or something like that having like things coming at my neck and, and dying in that experience uh, but what I realized now when we are opening to this is there's a lot of energy uh, flowing together in our body it coming from the, the ground really the earth energy also from above I've learned recently <laughs> but there's a lot of our desires that are drawn into our experience through the earth and and pulsated up through our body like there's this higher energy coming from our crown and is pulsating down through our bodies. And when they meet in the throat, they are really creating the reality. And, and also in our neck, so this whole area, they're really creating and building and constructing our uh, narrative around who we are and what we are experiencing here. So when we feel this mismatch between what our uh, lineage or ancestors have created of experience and beliefs in our body, we can experience that these dreams and desires are not really uh, aligning perfectly within our throat and our neck. It will be uh, distorted in the, this area and you will feel it's like, uh, uh, like puzzle pieces that are not fitting perfectly together but they're, they're having this distorted feeling and you can feel 
it difficult to remain to um, contain this frequency of your desires when they come into this and be expressed through this part of your body. So being uh, radiated out into your force field. And that is where we are now because you can perfectly create that reality and feel how it aligns with the body and let the body decide how and choose how it wants to align up with those desires because there's so many ways and there are perfect ways for the body. And it's truly very excited about this because it knows that it's perfectly capable of doing all those things in the higher dimensions. That's why we created this, this experience. We wanted our body to go with us into this dimension and have this epic journey into this adventure and explore all these new possibilities. But when we are meeting this uh, misalignment in the throat that we are not completely seen as the divine beings that we are because of this, these debris energies there, then we feel this, this mismatch. Okay, a part of me wants this, another part of me wants that we are coming into the perfect alignment and this is what we're going to do today. <laughs> so we're gonna work in with the neck area actually mainly. The throat will align to that after because there's something in the neck that we're going to go in and work with. Another thing they asked me to share is about what we did on the call last time, moving into feeling our body as a solar system uh, and a galaxy and a multiverse. And the reason why it's all of that is it because it's on different scales. So I felt just confused in the beginning, like why was I saying so many things, couldn't I decide on one? But they say like the cells and we are going all the way down to, to um, molecules and neutron protons. We have them in all like in all level, just like we are also um, neutron and protons circling around something else in our experience that we are really just, we are really existing on so many different dimensions and scales. So really understanding that your body can be all of it. And then they were talking about it, which I'm also just gonna mention before, because it's, it's really aligned to this. So whether it's with your body, you're having this relationship or with someone else, this, this goes, this, this is the same and, and we will feel the same alignment within our body now during the meditation. If you have a, a difficult time, like understanding what is good for my body and what should I do, understand that that is all happening in your mind, in your head. And where we are going, it's your body deciding what it wants. And it's your body telling you, and it's your body choosing. So you don't have to figure out or use some wisdom that you learn to find out what is, is going on in your knee. Your knee will tell you what's going on there. And then the wisdom you have attained through understanding uh, maybe herbs or maybe medicine will help you to understand what your knee is telling you. Uh, if you had not did, done this studies, you might be completely blank when your knee was telling you, I want this and that. And if you can do this and that for me, that would be perfect. So understand that your wisdom is not uh, something you acquired for nothing. It's not a mistake. It's to, um, to align you to the experience of understanding your body's uh, words and signals and signs to you to really meet it where it is and uh, understand that it knows so much more about how it can be uh, how it how it wants to align to this experience how it wants to upgrade and really benefit in this experience but you need with your human mind to understand that it it does not come from there your understanding of what needs to be done it comes from wherever the thing is occurring so really going back to the basics of understanding that whatever you're speaking to has its own wisdom and that goes for your body. And how can you start to do that? Well, they suggest that first of all, we go into this meditation where you feel this, that you can expand your potential beyond what anyone else in your, in your and even in your surrounding, what anyone else in your lineage have ever done before it's it look, might look very very different I can feel that for myself too what I'm creating for me is not something anyone else in my in my lineage have ever created for themselves or wished I wanted or at least what I've known <laughs> that I wished I wanted and that is also what is coming through now our higher wishes so we can really hear them now so they might not even have been able to tap in with anything near their highest uh, 
potential or desires back then. So uh, there was too much fear and survival like, that built on top of that. So listening to the body and listening to the desires had not been an option for them. So you're opening to something completely new. All of us are, and uh, we are just to play with it and have fun with it. And also the meditation they gave last time about turning uh, in, tuning in with the different elements. They say that that is really good to give it like this playful touch. And I can say I went back and did the meditation again. I had a whole zoo with me this time. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> other animals came uh, than the first time. So that was really fun to, to really see that we can, we can play with all the other beings here and all the elements, the fire and the water and earth and the wind. And uh, <laughs> oh, that's just a joke coming up inside of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And the umami, they say. <laughs> and now I said it, it comes up every time. <laughs> we are. <exp> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Okay, I didn't want to say it because it seemed ridiculous. But they say it's about playing with the, the tastiness of life. So, okay, that's where it comes. <laughs> and I'm not going to say that. It's too weird. <laughs> Play with the umami. That's the, like the, the one of the, if you don't know what it is, it's, <laughs> I assume you all that. We at least talk about it a lot in Denmark. It's like this flavor in food that makes it extra delicious. And it cannot always be identified, but it's it would what's make it extra delicious. So you can put umami in all your all your elements, combine them with that. Okay, perfect time to go into a meditation. And they're really joyous that I shared this with you. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, okay, just lay down. I'll sit with your eyes closed, make sure you're comfortable. Take a few deep breaths and feel yourself come into the body. You might want to keep your neck warm in this exercise. And also after, just like maybe place a blanket on your neck. I have this with me here. And really feel that you can come into focusing on this part of your body. Yes. Okay. So we are so ready for this. The guides are just here and really ready to give you this alignment upgrade within this uh, throat chakra that is extended in the neck. And that is where the connection with the, with the higher realms is really occurring. They show me and I see it and I feel it. So if you, if you, if you focus in on the vertebrae in your neck, so re really feel that, what is your neck? Really feel that part of your body and just allow the adjustments to be made and really the energy to shift. And allow your highest self to really come in here through your crown maybe, or maybe directly through the neck or maybe both. And just upgrade the energies, connections that are within this part of your body to stabilize it. You just see a yellow or golden energy filling up the vertebrae in the neck. Feel like a red energy surrounding the vertebrae. It's holding the vertebrae in a loving embrace. We're still up in the neck, we're mainly staying here for the whole meditation. And I see the moonlight coming in. Flowing down through the vertebrae and upgrading 
the neck area, all the tissue that's around to really feel, feel and fit this divine feminine vibration of yours. To feel safe in this expression of you, flowing with energies, compassion, joyous expression of your femininity in this world. <clears throat> and now see rays of light flowing from outside in to the vertebrae all the way up to the base of the skull and all the way down through the top of to the top of your back like the, one of the highest vertebrae there the big one I'm not sure what it's called. There is a big one just here before it turns into the neck. And also feel that one changing and shifting in its vibration. And the blue light is surrounding that specific vertebra. And now feel the energy also coming up in the front of your throat and up into the mouth. And this is like the yellow golden light that we started working with. Into all the teeth, gums, to your lips, and your shin, not your shin. It's another, it's another place on the body. My chin, that's what it's called, uh, this one. And your jaws. And now see a white light emerging just in the front of your throat. And it's connected in with the vertebrae in the neck. It's connecting you to your highest potential. So really running up and down through the spine and its connection. And now let the angels and your guides come in, star families, beings, come in and allow them to assist you in upgrading this and really align it. So you feel at one with your desires that they become just an extended part of you. It's just you growing. You're not going anywhere outside yourself. You're staying you, expanding your energy field. And with that comes new adventures into your experience. 
So you really feel that it's your identity that's just expanding. It's who you are that's expanding. Allowing, allowing you to receive these holographic images that are really different from what your ancestors projected into their reality, into their holograms, into their holographic adventure. So you're allowing completely new frequencies and energies. And that is what makes it look very different. You allow yourself to see them differently, the energies that are there. To upgrade the energetic experience. That is truly what it is at one level of consciousness. So when you do it like this, there's the least resistance to it in your physical body. Because the physical body understands energy in many ways. And when you integrate it without the knowledge of it having a specific form, specific identity to you, it allows for the highest, higher integration. And you can just receive it. And there might be some release after in terms of the resistance, but it's much less tied to certain experience. It flows free through the body because there's not any identification with any experience. It's more just waves coming through the body, pulsating through the human body. And now see how you draw in the whole solar system into your reality here while sitting or laying down, drawing it all. You're not going anywhere. It's coming in to meet you here in your force field of energy. You're receiving the perfect alignment with your desires and wishes and dreams. Now let all your other chakras, chakras below and above align in with those adjustments that have been made in the throat and the neck. Now move up <clears throat> to the base of your skull and feel this hole, the edge of the skull all the way around up to the ears and this whole area from where the top vertebra is connecting with the skull and all the way around the edge of the skull. And really feel that area, how it's now connecting in with the brain your desires and dreams, 
and adjusting throughout your body and energy field, especially your shoulders, your arms and your hands and fingers are connected with these energies flowing here. And there might be emotions coming up when we also move close to the ears, what you hear from others, how you create reality with the words that you hear in the way that you hear them. Just allow the healing adjustments, the upgrades. Also to your ears, ear chakras. Feel the healing inside of your brain, inside your head, in your face. Really adjusting the settings there to your dreams and desires. Now see a blue energy coming from the top of your crown, flowing down through the center line in you. First in the head. And further down into the body, through the neck, throat. Down through the spine and chest.
you're really worthy of receiving those dreams, the desires that you planted there in your heart space to open now in these times. You know that it's a huge contribution to human consciousness. You know it's possible for you and others will see it's possible for them as well. You will dare to take a leap of faith when they see you embody a higher potential for your experience, for the human experience as a whole. Stay centered and grounded. Stay close to your friends and the energy and you will feel the support that is here for you every step of the way on this epic journey, this adventure that you've chosen to embark on. And it might be small and it might be big and it doesn't really matter. Everything that matters is it's you, your experience, your joy and being here alive in this experience. The blue energy is moving further down through the solar plexus and the root, the pelvis, through the inner thighs, knees, shins, feet into the earth. You're centered here, you're grounded here. You come back and listen over and over until you feel that you've gained what you needed to from this meditation. 